Welcome to the spring introductory tutorial from OeJava. So hopefully our Eclipse is ready. So we go there and make a new Java project. We name it as spring hello world and take all the defaults. Now we need a couple of jars in the path for the spring application to work so one is in the download of spring framework lib jakarta commons you will find commons logging then another one is inside log4j folder and then the spring jar itself which resides inside dist spring.jar now let's make a java class let's name it as hello world it has just one method print message now the next important step in spring application is to make the configuration xml this is the place where we register all the classes that we want to be managed by the spring container so this is how a configuration xml looks like you will note here that we have registered our class as a bean and given it a id now let's see how we can make use of this bean which we have registered in the spring so we make a class a main class and inside that So we have couple of imports to resolve. Note here that we refer to the XML and then we make app context and we pass this XML to this context it actually makes a spring factory and we go to the factory and say that give us the bean with this id and this is the same id we have used in our xml and then on the bean we can invoke our methods so we can run it as a simple java application and it prints hello world so the important thing to note here is that we don't create the objects now there's a spring which takes care of creating the object now let's see that how we can go further so that we can ask spring to also wire the relationship so for that we write another class hello world message so now the spring will not be hard coded the message string it will be basically returned by the other class and then the changes in the hello world so here you note that we are now getting the message from the message class okay <coughs> now okay so 
now we change our XML a little bit and what we do is note this thing now we have hello world message as again registered as a bean in the spring and we inject this bean into the hello world object using the name of this bean which is referenced here and this message basically results into set message call on our hello world bean so our spring main class doesn't changes we just run this class again and we get the same result but the important point here is that the relationship is now wired by the spring so these are the two important features of spring application or it's the spring capabilities one is the ability to create objects and another is the ability to wire the relationship between objects thanks from